The other day, Lilith announced OK being the new CAV commander, and I ran an absolute crap load of tests with him. I ran every test imaginable. I ran him against Boudicca, CPO, Sargon, Guan, anything you could think of, even Henry and Zhu Lang. I ran him against everything, testing pretty much as many other meta combinations as I possibly could, and it was insane some of the results I got. If you want to know the full potential of Hulk Bang and what he's actually going to bring to the open field, and if he's even a good investment, you need to check out today's video. Let's start off with how did I run the tests. First of all, every single th test I ran, they were not special units. Each test I ran with either the civilization that gave no special unit and no stats, and also I made sure that they had equal troop capacity. They had 310,000 troop capacity for every single fight. This was pretty much mimicking a VIP 14 player with a 50% expansion. OK Bing was the primary for every single test, and I ran him in with two different secondaries, that being Joan of Arc and Alexander Nevsky. Also, I made sure that he had all buffs from Alliance Tech and Holy Sites, so that is why you will see that he has 93% attack, 93% defense, 51% health. Same on both sides. I gave each side a 10% health rune, which is something you'd really want for the open field. For all equipment, I ran it with just the legendary set for that troop type. So Cavalry, I ran Hellish Wasteland set. And then Boudicca, I ran the Dragon Breath set. And then the Infantry, I ran their set, which I forget the name of off the top of my head. I ran a 5% defense buff, and all VIP levels were between level 13 and 16. For the skill trees, Hulk Bing and Boudicca, both Archer commanders, were full in onto the skill tree. When I ran Henry tests, he was used with the support tree slightly leveled up down into the Conquering Tree to get Buckler's Shield, and all up into the Archer Tree. I also then ran CPO Prime as the main primary for Infantry, and he was run pretty much all into the Infantry right here, and then also half into that support tree once again. When I ran Guan Yu as a primary, he was all into the skill tree, something similar to this, rather than the first thing that I just showed you, he was much more into the skill tree. So that is pretty much all the talents that I ran throughout this. Now let's discuss the reports while these last supports run as I record. The first reports were some bangers. It was Hulk K. Bing with John of Arc against Boudicca with Zhu Lang. I ran this three times. Hulk K. Bing won by 9,007 wins the first time. Really, really good trade. This shows that he's definitely better than Nevsky because Nevsky was losing to the Boudicca with the Zhu Lang. Then I ran Hulk K. Bing with the John of Arc once again. Like I said, I ran it three times. He won by almost 10,007 wins here, even more than the first time. He's basically stomping on that Boudicca Prime with that Zhu Lang. I think this is due to his high damage factor and his fast rage cycle. Pretty much he's just doing what Nevsky doesn't do, which is the fast, fast, fast rage cycle, and he's got more damage factor, so he's able to completely destroy the Boudicca Zhu Lang. We know that XY Nevsky was almost bidding Boudicca Zhu Lang, while Nevsky Joan definitely wasn't. And I think that's due to the faster rage cycle. And then I ran again, and he won by only 4,000 seven wounds. This could be due to the fact that he got unlucky on some skill throws, or Boudicca got very lucky. That's the only explanation here. Or maybe, you know, RNG, sometimes some fights go differently. That's pretty much how Lilith has made the game. A little bit of fighting can be based on RNG. I did actually run it one more time just to see what would happen. And I won by 10,000 save wins here. So I think that it is really simple to say Hulk K. Bing definitely is able to beat Boudicca's Yul Lang very consistently. And even if Boudicca gets very lucky with skill throws, he's still going to win by an okay amount. Then I ran Alexander Nevsky with John of Arc just to see how it would go because that was the current meta combination. And no, nah, he didn't win. Like, he lost by around 5,000 seven wins for the first report, almost 5,000 seven wins, more closer to 4,000 seven wins for the second report. I think this is to be expected. This is what we saw with his first testing runs. And then he lost again by around 8,000 seven wins here, actually managed to get worse. So Hulk Bing right off the bat, is able to destroy the Nevsky. Even when he traded the worst, he traded out of all the Archer tests I'd run, he still was able to beat Nevsky's trades by a fair amount. I then decided to run Hulk Bing with Joan of Arc against Henry Wood Zhu Lang. He won by 13,000 seven wounds. This is the combination I personally run, so I'm screwed. Hulk Bing with Joan of Arc is just crazy against Henry Wood Zhu Lang. The stats he's destroying off this man is crazy good. I think this is because Henry is a very tanky commander. Hulk Bing's basically saying, sucks to be tanky because I'm just going to destroy you. And he did it again, winning another time by almost 14,000 seven wounds. Once again, don't look at the power. It is glitched, but he won by 14,000 seven wounds. And then guess what? He won again by another 13,000 severely wounded units. Then I ran the Alexander Nevsky with the Joan of Arc, and he actually won the support. I think that this is just because it's not dealing enough damage. Henry is not a damage commander. He's more of a tanky commander. Each battle with Henry lasted around 30 seconds longer than with Boudicca, which does show he's definitely there for the long run. If you put a Henry on the open field, he's there to pretty much just soak up damage and not take as much damage from AoE. Overall, he did lose by 7,000 seven wounds for the first support, he then lost by 11,000 for the second report, and then for the third report, he lost by around 13,000 seven wounds. There was three reports that Nevsky won, and each report gradually got worse for the Henry, but Hoke Bing overall still did better than Nevsky here, winning by 13,000 every single time, 
pretty much without fail. So Hokkei Beng still is on a winning streak compared to the Nevsky in every single regard so far. I then ran Alexander Nevsky and Joan of Arc against a Sipio with a Sargon, and it lost by almost like 18,000 seconds here. Crazy loss for Alexander Nevsky and Joan of Arc. I think, once again, this is just because Sipio with Sargon are the literal best dueling pair. They deal so much damage, so much shielding. Sip Sargon's debuff, sorry, is amazing. Sipio's debuff is even amazing. And Sipio is just really, really good at duels because of his shielding. And Sargon's single target damage factor is mental. So I think this is probably why they won this report by such a large amount. And then they won the second report by literally almost the same numbers. Like, if you look at the numbers, they barely change between both those reports, which is extremely consistent. The power numbers also don't change. This could be glitch. Or it literally could be that they barely change overall. I only ran the Sipio with the Sargon against Alexander Nevsky and Joan twice, but then I ran Hulke Bing with Joan of Arc against Sipio with Sargon, and he lost as well by almost the exact, actually more than how much Nevsky lost. He lost by an extra 1,000 set wins, and if I had to guess why, this would be because Hulke Bing doesn't give an, a really good debuff. Nevsky's debuff is what was really carrying him through that Sipio fight. Since infantry usually have a lot of defense, take away a lot of the defense, I think they don't really perform as well. Ok Bing then lost pretty much again, putting on a spectacular show, losing by 14,000 severely wounded units. And then next up, I ran him against a Henry with his Yulang again, and this time he won by 14,000 said wounds. This was really just to make sure that the Henry reports were extremely accurate. I ran again, Henry lost by another 11,000 said wounds, and then I ran it one more time, and Henry lost by 17,000 said wounds. So you can see Henry with Zulang definitely is not cut out to beat Hulk K. Bing with Joan of Arc. I then ran Hulk K. Bing with Joan of Arc again to see how it would go against Scipio and Sargon. And Scipio and Sargon just shredded him again. Once again, Hulk K. Bing lost by around 18,000 save wounds. That is more than how much Nevsky was losing by. He lost by 10,000 save wounds here. It's a better trade, but still he is losing by a large amount. And then I ran Alexander Nevsky with Joan of Arc against the Guan Yu. This was to prepare for the Hulk K. Bing reports to see how he performs against Guan Yu. Here, Nevsky Joan actually beat Guan Sipio. I think this is probably going to be because Guan got very unlucky with silences, or Nevsky just got un very lucky with when Joan of Arc's double skills lined up. Those are the two possibilities. Next support, Nevsky lost by around 7,000 severely wounded, which is probably what I would have expected to see. Definitely, Sargon is performing way, way better than Guan in this 1v1 situation, but Guan may have got really good silencing here, which is why he won still by a fairly good amount. I then ran Hulk Bing against Guan and Sipio, and he won by around 2,000 severely wounded units here. A nice victory against like Guan Yu with a CPO. Those are two infantry commanders. They should be beating the Cavs. Though, as you can see, they definitely didn't. And the second report was pretty much the same. I'm presuming this would be due to the fact that Ok Bing with Joan of Arc definitely is a more damage dealing combination than Nevsky. And Guan Yu's silence really wasn't dealing as much of an effect than them. So that is my main guess as to why they were winning, but it could just be that Hulke Bing is just straight up a better commander. I then ran Hulke Bing with Nevsky against Guan with CPO. They destroyed it, winning by almost 10,000 severely wounded units. That is a really good trade for Hulke Bing and Nevsky. I think this is pretty much because you're putting down the two strongest damage dealing commanders in the whole entire game together, and they're just going to destroy it. Like, Nevsky's already got crazy high damage. He's got an amazing defense debuff, but with Hulke Bing dealing the most single target damage in the game, you're going to melt anyone happened twice, won by pretty much another 10,000 sev wounds, so that's really what can you expect to be just an absolute killing machine. I then ran Hulk Bing with Alexander Nevsky against Budokaz Yulang, he won by 19,000 sev wounds. That is a crazy, crazy victory, completely destroyed the Budokaz Yulang. Then I ran it again, and Budokaz Yulang actually won the fight, but lost the trade. I'm not sure how, I'm going to presume Budokaz got stupidly lucky with skill tree and feral nature, and maybe crazy lucky with ring. That's the only guess I could have here as to why she even came close to even winning a trade. She won the battle but lost the trade. Now we'll take a look at the final reports. That's Alexander Nevsky with Hulk Bing against Sepio with Sargon, the combination that completely destroyed them the first time. First report here, Hulk Bing lost by around 10,000 severely wounds. That's better than the 18,000 he was losing by before against the Joan of Arc. Then actually winning by around 3,000 severely wounded units. That is really good. Could be due to the fact that Hulk Bing got really lucky on some skill throws there. That's the only guess I would have as to why. He only had 5,000 troops remaining though, so definitely was a very close battle. Then the third and final report, he lost by 11,000 severely wounds. So I think that this second report, definitely he got very lucky here, winning by the 3,000 severe wounds. But overall, it looks like Scipio with Sargon is still going to be Hulk Bing in a 1v1 situation. So what's my overall opinion on Hulk Bing? And speaking from a strictly game balance perspective, he is a balanced commander. He beats archers, which Nevsky for some reason could not do. He can beat the Boudicca with the Zulang. He beats it very easily. The only time it lost was like once. He beats Henry with Zulang. 
And that means he's definitely going to destroy a Nebula Zulang. And he's going to destroy any other Archer Commander in the whole entire Archer kit. I expect him to do quite well against the current Cav, which would be Nevsky. I mean, if we're looking for power creep, then you've got power creep. He's probably going to beat a Nevsky and a Joan. I know I didn't run it, but we can certainly expect him to beat Nevsky. And he's going to certainly replace XY. I was a bit wrong when I said he'd be like a Saladin. I guess I was actually quite wrong. They kind of went for a Nevsky Prime, but I was slightly right with him having a March Speed debuff on his active skill. I did call that, and I will take that as a win. Also, I think that it is good that he is being countered by infantry. I know you Cav mains are probably thinking, come on, let us have his time in the spotlight like Zhu Lang, where he was literally invincible. But sorry, Lilith has got a CPO with a Saga, and probably a very, it's probably the best dueling march in the game. So this is going to pretty much win in every single situation against the whole K Bing. You almost can't even guarantee a victory, besides that one report where, I don't know, really, really lucky, I guess. So... Hokkei Bing definitely is going to lose to infantry. They will counter him pretty hard. He will beat Guan Yu, though, because Guan Yu is very outdated. Like, if we're being real, Guan Yu was a much older commander than a lot of the infantry commanders. He came out literally after Alexander the Great. Like, he is old, old, old. So, I expect Guan Yu to definitely lose to Hokkei Bing overall in the open field. If you have Guan, you're going to probably have to run away. But he's still going to do quite good. I don't think Guan's going to completely die in this new update. He'll die when all the new archers release and the new infantry release. But until then, Guan is still good, but CPO with Sargon definitely is Hulk Bing's main counter. I presume Tarek with Sargon will also do quite well, just because Tarek is a little bit similar to CPO, just more damage, less tank. Now, the best pairings for Hulk Bing, I think Nevsky is going to be extremely good. Like, don't get me wrong, I think he'll probably be the best single target commander in the whole entire game. Hulk Bing plus Nevsky will destroy anything that you hit. Or if there's more than one person or more than one march, or you're just not getting AoE, you're going to get less kills overall with this march. It will never die if no one hits it and no one really swarms it down, you're always going to win, but you will have to expect that if you aren't dealing the AoE, you're not going to get as many kills. That's why I prefer the whole K being with the Joan Prime. Joan Prime, double AoE of 2,000, dealing up to 12,000 damage factor within two turns. Really, really good. Obviously, that damage factor is reduced for a traditional target, but still, she is still dealing a crazy amount of damage factor. She's dealing, like, I would have to guess around 8,000 total damage factor, which is certainly higher than 2,700, and definitely higher than Nevsky's 2,300 or 2,400, so we can certainly expect that this Hulk Bing with Joan is going to be better than Nevsky. And the question is, does Hulk Bing replace Nevsky? And for the early game players who just get the Season of Conquest, the answer is yes. You get Hulk Bing over Nevsky and you just get Joan, slap him together, you've got a cracker KVK Cav combo. If you have Nevsky currently, the answer in my opinion would be no. I don't think Hulk Bing is bringing that that much where I say, all right, it's worth benching Nevsky or worth benching Joan to go and get Hulk Bing and putting him in your murder ball if you only have one Cav march. If you're running two cap marches, you have to get him. Like, there's no, no, no doubt about that. You can replace XY, you can replace Shandra Gupta, you can replace even Bertrand if you're running, you can replace Attila, Saladin. All these commanders can really be replaced. If you want to run still a Nevsky in your murder ball and you want to dump him from the Joan and run Hulk Bing with Joan, which is what I'd recommend doing, then you're probably going to have to run a Nevsky with an XY, so you may have to go in backwards invest, or you could run Nevsky with Minamoto. Those are like the only two options you'd have. If you have a Nevsky and a Joan and you want to split them to somehow use Hulk Bing without benching your Nevsky forever. Nevsky is still a fairly new commander and it would suck to bench him, but Hulk Bing does do a lot of what Nevsky does. High single target damage, fairly fast, fairly tanky in some situations. So I think that Nevsky is still going to have his places, don't get me wrong. He's still going to be, the, in my opinion, second best, if not third best, Cav commander in the whole entire game. And he's still going to work extremely well, like the really, really well within two cab marches. But he's not at the point where I would say he's better than Hulk Bing. He's definitely not even close to the point, though, where I would say you should bench him. Now, if you want to know more about Hulk Bing, you want to know his best skills, pairs, talents, everything you'd want to know about him, I'll be making a video tomorrow that you can hear about if you join my Discord server. If you join my Discord server, you'll get access to all videos I release two to three hours earlier before YouTube properly releases them, because, I mean, it's YouTube. But with Discord, I have a bot that will let you know whenever I upload a video within the first three minutes of the upload. So if you want to hear more about my content, you want to support me as a creator, or you're just interested in Hulk Bing's potential, plus my opinion on best pairings, how he will perform if he's the new best commander in the game, all of those kind of snazzy things, join the Discord link in the description and in the pinned comment. Now I just want to say thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next one.